Okay. All right. So it's been pretty much 10 days since I posted the video about the Flex 24 volt full tool combo kit starter kit for 89.94 or 90 something dollars depending on where you live. All right. Um, and very clearly we see here return completed. Uh, let me just talk about what happened with me. So first of all, I drove out to, I had placed two orders. I drove out there, uh, one in-store pickup. It said it was in a locker. I got there and I just got accused of all types of stuff, hacking lows and changing the price. And it was one person that was just saying, well, why don't we just give them the tools? Clearly it comes with it. And then another person was saying, well, I don't think we have the tools. And they called another person over, walked me over. We found the tools. He brought the tools. And he was under the impression I was just looking for the tools to buy. And then the lady that was just going to give me the tools said, oh, well, he said you had to buy the tools. I said, oh, because he didn't, he doesn't know what's going on. It was a big mess, man. Uh, a, a, a big, big mess. And then they called like the supervisor over for customer service and he was saying oh it's simple you just need to call customer service and then we can release it to you uh, it was bad it was it was lots of incompetence but that that doesn't mean that the people there were not friendly they were they were very friendly for the most part even though i got accused of hacking they just said it with a smile on their face anyway so that was that i mentioned in another video that i just I was in there for an hour and a half and I was on hold for another hour and a half and I just decided I've wasted too much time that was three hours and uh, I mean at that point I should have just been like give me a manager please because I'm not going through all of this but I didn't I just left and even though I told you guys to see the manager and those who did see a manager you got your tools all right good good for you so then I got the delivery that actual same day when I was out in Wichita and what ended up happening was this. But before we read the conversation, I want to read to you some laws, okay? So we're going to look at, first of all, false advertising falls under the Lanham Act, which protects consumers from shady sellers, basically. Uh, and let's go ahead and read on classlawgroup.com. Uh, let's read a little bit about false advertising because a lot of people think this is petty. It is almost, but after I read to you the conversation I had with Lowe's through chat, maybe you'll understand a little bit more why I'm making this video because I'm not the only person that has a similar story. Lots of people have been told similar things and it's crazy for Lowe's to try to just say, just call them thieves. <laughs> just call them hackers and then don't give it to them and let's not take responsibility for our error, you know, if that's what it was. So anyway, uh, we're going to skip a little bit down to here. What is the law's definition of false advertising? So generally, false advertising laws say that consumers have proved their case if they show uh, these four things. A, that the advertising was false or, or misleading. So to say, let's go back here. So to say, hey, this is a 24 volt four tool combo kit and you buy it for $89.94 that also comes with these and, and here's a picture and you buy it and they just give you the bits. Well, that's false and misleading. I think we can all agree with that. B, that the falsity was material, often meaning the company lied about something important. Well, that's pretty important to say that I'm gonna get all this and only give me the bits. And then later on, as we see in the conversation, say, well, we'll give you the tools, but you need to pay us an extra $400. We'll, we'll get to that, though, uh, which I'm not the only person who has said that. Some other people have told me that they were told that, and I found that mind-blowing and unbelievable, frankly, until they said the same thing to me. And that was in-store and through chat. But I actually had the chat in writing, right? C, the consumer saw the false advertisement. Well, we have a whole video of me from, you know, 10 days ago showing the advertisement. So we all, thousands of people saw that. And D, the consumer relied on the false advertising in purchasing the product or service. Of course, we saw the ad. We saw this and thought, oh, man, this is a great deal. We bought it and nothing. 
So that's the law. Let's read what bait and switch is. So there are a few common types of false advertising. One type is called bait and switch. A bait and switch often involves a business that advertises something to get consumers in the door, such as a sale or a low price. In regard to Lowe's, it's $89.94. In regard to Ace Hardware, that $149. But the bargain or advertised conditions don't actually exist. And when we pay this, and then they say, oh, you need to pay us some more, or oh, oh, that's an error, you know, it's not really that. That's just for the bits. But you can pay extra to get this. That is false advertising. That is bait and switch. Or they say, oh, it's $149. You get a free gift. Then you add the free, pick the free gift that you want. They say, oh, actually, it's $100 extra. We'll give you that free. Again, that is bait and switch. So now that we've read the law, okay, we, we know what the law is. Now let's briefly go through this conversation. So let's just get to the meat of the matter here. All right, so this is Linnea. So the first guy was just like, man, this, I'm just going to transfer you to somebody else. I don't know. Uh, now, she says, I will be more than happy to answer your questions today. Looking at your order, it looks like all you ordered were bits. And I said, if you look at the order and the listing, it says 24-volt four-tool combo kit starter kit. I received three accessory bits, not four. The accessory bits are also not 24 volts. So I'm just explaining to her that clearly this is not bits. Then she proceeded to just take the random listings of the bits individually and post them and post pictures of them. So this is one for the 31 piece model number, set item number. And then when she posted that, I said, could you please refer to the order number where I purchased that? Because clearly... My order number, if we go back to it, it's this is this is it. This is my order. 24 volt <laughs> four tool combo kit starter kit. So we see that. They had, it doesn't say anything about any of this. So she just continued to ignore that and posted another one. And then I said, because in my order it shows 24 volt four tool combo kit starter kit online set GR3462, not these item numbers or model numbers which she's posting. She just continued to ignore me and posted that. And then I posted a screenshot of my order, an actual picture. Then she says, and let's pay very close attention to her verbiage, okay? Let me see about this other starter kit. One moment, please. What does she mean, other? There is no other. It's All it is is what I paid for, which is this four-tool combo kit, this 24-volt four-tool combo kit, with this online set GR3462. That's all it is. It's not rocket science. It's not more than one thing on the order. It's just that one thing. Quantity one of all this. That's it. Which has other things in it. All right. And then I said to her, you know, we said this at the pretty much the same time. I was typing at the same time. Yeah, both at 1740. I don't know where you're getting all that from, but I just sent a screenshot of my order. And then I said, it says that's, it's all part of a set. And I even highlighted the item number for you as well, which I highlighted this. Unfortunately, you can't see the actual pictures uh, that were sent in the conversation. And then I sent her an actual link of GR3462, which if we even go back, if we click it from here, it'll take us to Lowe's website and it'll take us to that listing right here. Which we even just saw the price change. Did you see it? It was four ninety three, then switched to four eighty eight. So I don't know what's going on with Lowe's website. If it's an error, it certainly is not on our part, okay? And it says everything what's included and it has the pictures of tools. And if we go back to my actual order, we see it's the exact same thing. The GR thirty four sixty two. GR thirty four sixty two. And I said there's a link to the GR thirty four sixty two online set I ordered. And then some automated things say, I'll be right with you. Then she comes back and says, I apologize. The kit that you wanted to order is $493.94. Again, with her words, wanted to order. She's trying to make me seem and, and think that I did not order what I ordered. Okay? I don't understand this type of psychology. It's like somebody really behind her is training her to, to do this type of thing, which is crazy. And then I said, I did order that kit. 
I was addressing this, this wanted. It wasn't I, that I wanted to order it. I did order that kit and price, prices change frequently when they are on sale, true? She said, yes, but you only pay for the accessories, not the tools. I apologize. So I mean no disrespect because I know things come off weird online. I'm just trying to, you know, make sure she knows this is a safe conversation. I'm not trying to attack her or blame her. But I said, ma'am, imagine for a moment that you go online and purchase something. The store sends you half of the order, then tells you they want more money to send the rest. How would that make you feel? I didn't steal anything. Lowe's had a price for something. I paid it, and now you're asking for more money and telling me I didn't buy what it is obvious that I bought. Yes, the price is higher today, but it wasn't when I bought it. I've seen things all the time on clearance and never had an issue before. I'm trying to understand why that's an issue now. Now, I shouldn't have said clearance, but clearly I was using that as an example. We'll get on to see how she must be a lawyer or something or training to be one because she's trying to use my words against me. Then she said, I understand your frustration, and I really do apologize, but this kid is four ninety three ninety four, not ninety six sixty now. But, And then I said, yes, it's that today. Just like months ago, I purchased a DeWalt Auger for $90. Today it's $399. But let me take you to that real quick. Okay, so here's that order. I placed the order. I'm covering up the order number and my all my personal details, but I'm so I'm zoomed in. So here it is. I ordered this DeWalt Auger for $94.75. And it came with the case. You can see the picture case, a charger. And it wasn't like a, the baby charger either. It came with a decent charger. And it came with a two amp hour battery and it came with the auger. $94.75. And this was shipped to me just fine. As we see, when I scroll up, it says it was delivered, right? It was delivered January 14, 2022. So it wasn't that long ago. And when we click this, it'll take us to the current listing where it's 419. So they didn't have a problem honoring their advertisement then. I don't know why it's such an issue now. So let's go back to this conversation. So I told her what num order number to refer to. And I said, uh, just like months ago, I purchased the wall auger for $90. Today it's $3.99. Should I pay you another $300 because Lowe's changed the price after I ordered it? And then she just said, and I said, it's actually $4.19, but I was sent the item I bought nevertheless. She said, yes, I understand you are frustrated. And I'm not saying you stole anything. What I'm saying is that there was a pricing error on the website and the actual kit is $4.93 for the tools and accessories. I said, what's the difference between a sale and a pricing error as far as I'm concerned? I said, that really doesn't matter, does it? As long as I paid the advertised price. Well, I certainly can't do anything with bits without the tools. And then she says, a true clearance price, remember what I said earlier about clearance. A true clearance price is something that is advertised and we can honor that. But the pricing error that happened, I apologize that your order did not get canceled in time and that you only received the accessories. I said, to my point above. I don't know whether your pricing is in error or whether it's clearance. Then she said, if it was on clearance, it would say it was on clearance, not be a normal price. See, she's trying to be funny there because why would I know that? Do I work for Lowe's? Of course not. So, uh, and then I said down here, I don't work for Lowe's, so I wouldn't know that. But I do know that to advertise something for a price, then send half to the customer, then ask for more money is illegal. Now, one would argue and say, well, she didn't ask you for more money. You're just saying that. Well, let's scroll down a little bit. Let's scroll down a lot. Here we are, right here. She says, I apologize again. It's after reaching out, it was a pricing error on the website. And we have fixed it now to show the accurate price. Unfortunately, we cannot send you the tools unless you purchase the tool kit. Right, so she's asking for extra money. Uh, and then I said, if the order was canceled, that would have been one thing. But by sending anything, that binds us to a contract. Lowe's owes me the rest of the kit. I know you're not a lawyer and you shouldn't even have to deal with this. And that I do apologize for. Again, I'm trying to let her know I'm not trying to attack her. And then moving on, I mean, she was saying, you know, I can take the stuff back to the store. You drive an hour and a half one way to do that. And then an hour and a half back home, which is part of the other conversation I skipped through. Then she said, if you want to mail in your accessories, you can do that. Now, here's the thing. I asked him, will someone pick it up? Because I'm not spending a dime on anything. I shouldn't have to even pay for the ink, paper, for the ink or paper to print the label. Now, generally, when you, we return things to like Amazon, and it's Amazon's fault, they'll send UPS out to you with a label. You don't have to do anything but just put the package on the porch or whatever, and they do everything else. 
Lowe's, on the other hand, wants me to print out this label, use my tape, use my paper, use my ink, and my time to fix their error. Then she tells me to go on Lowe's.com and click order status and do all this stuff to get a return label, which I couldn't do. When I tried to, she hung up on me here, and when I tried to go do that, it wouldn't let me, right? And then I asked her again. I said, well, will someone pick it up? I live in the country, so there's no, really nowhere to drop this off, which she knows because she's already looked up my address and all of that. And then she said, all you have to do is call FedEx and schedule a pickup. What? I've never heard anything like that. I remember I had an issue with Home Depot, and they called FedEx and had them come and pick it up. I ordered some wire, and the wire was, like, really damaged. And uh, so they sent FedEx out here to pick it up, and then they shipped me out some more wire. I didn't have to do anything. It's their fault, right? Lowe's is something else, y'all. So anyway... That's the whole thing. So what do we do about this? If, you, if you're if you upset about the whole thing, and I wasn't going to say anything. I was letting it go at first. It was until this conversation where I just said, oh, okay, you know what? Everything other everyone else was saying about them saying, oh, you need to pay more money or acting as if they were a criminal. I experienced the same thing, and we cannot just let this last. So what you do, you go to this, follow this link right here. It's going to be in the description, and then going to be pinned to the video as well. And you just use whatever evidence you have, go online and, you know, pull up. You don't need to send them any evidence right now. You just need to tell them what happened. And you go through this thing, online shopping, uh, and then just answer the questions, a problem with the purchase online, and you report it to the FTC. What will happen is the FTC will actually go and investigate, and they will sue those and find them for fraud or whatever you know, whatever they find out, because clearly they violated the law here. You advertise something for a price, we paid it, and it, it, and they have to honor it. That's it. They really can't cancel it. They, they can have terms of service all they want, but if their terms of service violate the law, it's void. A lot of companies have terms of service that are illegal. Just because they tell you, oh, that's our terms of services, don't just go for that. Like, I just learned yesterday that in Maryland, the state of Maryland, I, I was raised there, you can't sell anything as as is. That's illegal. <laughs> Who knew? I didn't know that. And that includes cars. So, um, yeah, so that's what that's all you have to do. They, and if they find that Lowe's violated the law, which they did, they will go after Lowe's. And in some cases, we'll be compensated. You know, I don't know if we will, but at the very least, hopefully this makes Lowe's think twice about trying to rip off their customers. Another thing we could do is I could just not talk about Lowe's deals or anything at all on the website until they fix their issues or make it right with their customers. I just go Home Depot or Tool Barn or Agri Tool, Menards. There's a whole bunch of other competitors out there other than Lowe's. Okay, Lowe's is not the end all be all. So anyway, that's the video. Let us know what your experience was in the comments. I do know a lot of people that spoke with managers. The managers did the right thing. When I returned the tools yesterday, the girl at the uh returns was in disbelief at how Linnea here handled the issue. I really wish it advertised that that store, and that's the Lowe's I usually go to in East Wichita, had the stuff online because I would have my tools. I, they, they, they're they always good over there at that store. That one in West Wichita, though, whoo, boy, don't go there. Anyway, that's the video. See you guys next time.